So we got a story here that was posted on the New Jersey Office of the Attorney General. And it has to do with a state trooper by the name of Keith Ashley, who's getting the uh, honor, uh, another award, Trooper of the Year he's getting. I'm going to play the video for you. You can watch it, and then we'll come back, and uh, I will talk about it. Trooper of the Year. During a one-year period, Trooper Keith Ashley, badge number 7451 of the Troop C Hamilton substation, continuously demonstrated his ability to conduct outstanding and thorough investigations. His determination while spearheading 103 criminal investigations led to the arrest of more than 300 defendants for a variety of offenses that range from CDS possession, CDS distribution, possession of stolen vehicles, weapons possession, and evidence tampering to endangering the welfare of children. He conducted numerous interviews that cultivated six confidential informants, which ultimately led to the arrest of an MS-13 gang member in possession of two handguns and a distributable amount of K2 spice. Trooper Ashley maintained his position as a top performer in the area of traffic enforcement as a leader in motor vehicle stops, summonses, and warnings. During one highlighted stop, he sees 67 doses of oxycodone, 12.5 doses of hydrocodone, approximately 6 grams of crack cocaine, and $6,600 in U.S. currency. Furthermore, he notably arrested and charged 26 drivers with driving while impaired. And in May of 2018, Trooper Ashley deployed Narcan to treat two unconscious subjects who had overdosed on heroin. His commitment and dedication exemplify the core values of the New Jersey State Police, honor, duty, and fidelity. So what do you think about that? Got some heavy hitters in that video. Uh, the guy with the laundry on his head, that's our uh, New Jersey uh, Attorney General. He's the one that's turning New Jersey into a sanctuary state. He's not going to go after uh, illegals. In fact, uh, he's told all police agencies in New Jersey to leave illegals alone. So the only laws he's enforcing are the ones uh, that apply to the taxpayers. If you're an illegal federal uh, lawbreaker, he's going to turn a blind eye to you. He's going to welcome you in. And you can uh, have your anchor babies and collect your uh, welfare and your housing supplements. All those wonderful things. That's what our great uh, New Jersey uh, Attorney General is, is doing for us. He was, uh, he's one of Murphy, Governor Murphy's friends. So let's take a look at Trooper Keith Ashley. And let's take a look and see exactly what he's being commended for. So I just wrote down some notes. And the first one is he continuously demonstrates his ability to conduct thorough investigations. Okay, I guess that's good. Spearheaded 103 criminal investigations, led to more than 300 defendants. CDS possession, CDS distribution, stolen vehicles, weapon possession, evidence tampering, endangering the welfare of children. Wow, this almost sounds like some of the stories I report on about Blue Zero Heroes, doesn't it? Now, it doesn't specify what type of CDS, if it's uh, cocaine and uh, heroin. You know, I'm kind of glad to see it off the street. Personally, I think we should decriminalize drugs. You want to go out there and ruin your life on drugs, have fun. Just don't do it on my dime. Uh, number three, cultivated six informants that led to the arrest of MS-13. Now, this is interesting because the MS-13 is here because we have these sanctuary policies here in New Jersey. Isn't that right, Mr. Uh, whatever your name is? Laundry on the head? Yeah, MS-13 comes from Mexico, don't they, or Central America? And they're here because uh, they jumped the border, and uh, our attorney general doesn't want our police to uh, do anything about it. So that's why the MS-13 is here. He is uh, a top performer in traffic enforcement as a leader in traffic stops, summonses, and warnings. 
Well, you know what that means. That's key word. He generated a lot of revenue. He's a top performer. He's probably, I'd be curious to see how, many, how much revenue he generated for the state with traffic tickets because we know it's all about the, tra about the revenue. That's why they do it. They get you on a ticket and then you got to go to court and they get you again at court. So this just shows you what he's spending a lot of his time doing, which is trolling the highways. And by the way, that's pretty much what New Jersey State Troopers do here in New Jersey. They patrol, uh, well, I know the two of their main functions is the Garden State Parkway and the New Jersey Turnpike. That's a big part of their activity. And then other ones is they patrol state highways. And they will also cover the police work for small towns. Give an example of Millstone Township where the uh, citizen idiot out gathering content for an arrest got arrested. That was the state trooper that responded and signed the complaint. So that's pretty much what they do. But I would say safely the bulk of what they do is trolling the roads looking for revenue. Let's see. He uh, arrested 26 drivers for impairment. I wonder if any of those were uh, cops because I did a couple stories about drunken cops, didn't I? Most recently. He applied Narcan to two unconscious people. Well, that was very nice. You should have just let him. You know, my feelings about this Narcan thing is... You know, if they're hooked on heroin and, and they're going out, just let them go. Because you're going to hit them with the Narcan and they're going to be, as soon as they get out of the hospital or whatever, they're going to be back to doing their heroin. People hooked on heroin are not going to stop heroin simply because they passed out and you hit them with the Narcan. I just say let them go. They want to make a life of it. That's, you know, you live by the, nar live by the heroin, you die by the heroin. That's just the way it is. It's unfortunate you get the ones that go to parties and they do it for the first time and they overdose. Those I might see, yeah, give them Narcan, but if you're stupid to play with heroin, then uh, you got to take what comes. That's my feelings about it. And he exemplified the core values of the New Jersey State Police, which is honor, duty, and fidelity. Now, there's a guy out there by the name of Justin Hobson. H-O-P-S-O-N, I think it is. I don't know if any of you know. I know some of you have to know the story behind uh, Justin. Justin was a state trooper who was new on the job. And uh, they, him and his superior officer stopped, stopped at this car that was on the side of the road. And the driver that was in there took off. And there was a passenger sitting in the back seat. And the superior took this female out, this young female out and uh, charged her with drunk driving. DWI or DUI, whatever you want to call it, charged her. She wasn't even driving the vehicle when he showed up and he even admitted in, on the dash cam that she was not the driver of the vehicle. Mr. Hobson said to his superior office, I will not testify in court against her, sir, because she was not the driver and therefore she can't be charged with driving under the influence well that caused the problem because he now did not follow the uh, the blue line of bullshit and his life became miserable they started trashing his car calling his phone terrorizing him at night harassing mainly harassing him and uh, putting him on bad shifts and things like that to the point where the guy had to quit, and he ended up suing the New Jersey State Police, and he won a settlement over that. And he exposed the nonsense that goes on. The disciples of, uh, what's it, the disciples of angels or something? Disciples of uh, something. I forget what it is. But he exposed about this uh, unwritten group that was in the state police culture. And any state trooper that gets out of line, doesn't follow uh, the rules, the blue line of bullshit rules, is going to have a rough time. And he exposed all that. I believe he wrote a book. He's got a video out there. I'll put the, the link in the video in the description for you, and you can watch it yourself. But he really exposed a lot was going on with the state police. And uh, I don't think uh, anything has... Uh, changed since that happened because it only happened i don't know what it was 2006 2008 something like that it's not that long ago i don't think the culture in the state police has changed one bit at all 
but it's interesting. You watch this video and you see that, that trooper, young trooper sitting there all, he, you know, he's ready to, uh, he's going to have to change his underwear at the rate he's going. He's having such an orgasm there over all these nice things. Wow, he's been accepted into the gang. The gang's liking him. They're patting him on the back. Trooper of the year. And I had said that, you know, I always say this, why are we giving them awards for the job that they're so well paid for to do? And most of them are getting six figures. And I was surprised to go look up this trooper's uh, salary, <coughs> only to find out he's only making $61,000. And with his overtime, it was reported he made $74,000 total. So I got to say, I really was kind of... Uh, I was disappointed. I was surprised to see that he wasn't making uh, the usual $120,000, $130,000 a year like most of these clowns do that have been on the job. So I'm assuming this uh, this young gang member here has, has not been on the job long. I'm going to have to go back and uh, check the record, see when he's joined the uh, retirement fund. So, yeah, there you go. Another award for doing the job they're so well paid to do. And, uh, you know, you got to look, it's like, I, I, I'm amazed why the look on their faces, it's like, you know, they got the hat on like this. You're a killer. Sir, yes, sir. Let me see your war face. Sir, you got a war face? Ah, that's a war face. Now let me see your war face. Ah! Bullshit, you didn't convince me. Let me see your real war face. Ah! You don't scare me. Work on it. Sir, yes, sir. You know, it's like, that's scary. I see that, that look. It's very militarized look. And that's the problem here in America, that our police are little by little becoming very militarized. They're becoming robots. They've lost their human side. Yeah. And I don't think that this trooper is any different. He's out there... I wonder how many lives he ruined, how many uh, rights he has violated, how many cars he searched that he didn't have probable cause to search but generated something. I mean, this young cop has every uh, motivation in the world to arrest people and do things because he's young and he wants to be accepted by the gang and he wants that promotion more than anything. I mean, $61,000 to sit in that car all day long and... Uh, I mean, by what other officers get, he's really not making a whole lot of money. All right, so, uh, you know, you watched the video. Let me know what you think about it in the comments section. Like, share, subscribe. And Gunnison Undercover on Facebook is back up and running. And you can post on there if you want. You can send me messages on there if you want. Till next time, people, this is Gunnison Undercover. Be well, be safe, and as always, watch the police. Hold them accountable and don't believe everything they tell you because if they got to tell you, it's probably a lie. It's a lot of propaganda comes from them. Yes, it does. Ja, nicht nach,